Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas This is Trinity College London ISC1. My name's Angelina. What's your name? My name is Fatima Tafia Nijamuddin. What's your title's topic for today? My topic title is family. What are your four topic points? My four topic points are watching TV with family, eating out with family, traveling with family, and buying gifts for family. Where do you like to travel with your family? I like to travel to a hill countryside with my family. How often do you travel with your family? Once in a month, I like to travel. Hmm. Okay, could you tell me about a place that you have visited recently with your family? Recently, I traveled to Wolhampton. That was an amazing place to visit. Hmm. Okay, and uh, how do you like to travel with your family? I like to travel by car with my family. Hmm. Okay. Can you tell me about a gift that you recently bought for your family? Yes, of course. Recently, I bought a phone for my family member. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and where do you usually like to go to buy things for your family? Sorry. Where do you like to go? Where like do you to like go to go? Yeah. Out to a restaurant with my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And do you like to buy gifts on birthday parties for your family? Yes, I like. I like to give some gifts for them. Could you tell me about a place where you like to eat out with your family? Yes, of course. Recently, I went to Mazar restaurant with my family. Right. Okay. And could you please uh, tell me about something important that you like to watch with your family on TV? Um. Yes. I like to watch Hollywood movies with my family. Important, important. Sorry? Important. Something important you like to watch with your family. Important, um, like news important. maybe, maybe news about weather. Yeah, I like to watch news with my family that's a mm -hmm. that's an important thing mm -hmm. okay at what time of the day do you like to watch tv with your family i like to watch at 6 p.m mm -hmm. okay 
And uh, are there any kind of TV shows that you think are not family friendly? What are those? Yes, of course. Um, there are some horror scenes, adult scenes, and bed scenes. That's not suitable for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Too much to get there. Okay. Um, now, my last question to you is about a place where you would like to travel with your family in the future? I would like to travel France in my future. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of part one. Now part two, we're going to talk about using computer. Do you use a computer in your day-to-day -day life? Yes. I do. What do you use it for? Uh, I use for my education. Hmm? And then some photo edit editor and video maker. Mm -hmm. And Searching for practice, practical exam papers, okay. um, and watching cartoons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Okay, that's it. And uh, I'd like to also... I want you to ask me some questions too. Well, sorry? I would like you to ask me some questions as well. Yeah. Do you like to use computer? Yes. So what do you think about use of computer? I think it is very useful. Nowadays, we conduct everything on the computers. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, this is the end of the test, speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now let's move to the listening test. Okay, now you need to listen to uh, a recording and tell me five or two to three tips that the teacher is giving uh, for the exam. Could you listen to the recording and tell me six things or five things, six things rather about advice for exams? Okay. Morning, everyone. <laughs> Quiet, please. Right, okay. So today, I'm going to give you some advice to help you prepare for the exams next week. So make some notes as I'm talking, please. <laughs> Everybody ready? Now, while you're studying, eat food that gives you energy. Don't be tempted to eat sweets or drink cola. Now, sugar won't help you study, but fruit and cereals will. Apples, actually, are especially good. Find a comfortable place with plenty of light when you study, but not too comfortable or you'll fall asleep. <laughs> Try and keep a positive mind. It is easier to study when you are positive and relaxed. Now, if you start feeling anxious, have a little break. Go out for a stroll around the block. Don't try to learn everything. There isn't time. Just choose the important things. The things that will get you the most points in an exam. Now, if you aren't sure about this, ask me. 
First, learn the main ideas and don't worry too much about the details. If you have time, you can come back later and read the details. Make notes of these key points and read them. Then cover them up and try to remember all the points. Now, it might be boring, but repetition helps you to remember. Use past exam papers to study. They will help you understand what kind of questions come up. There are plenty of past exam papers in the library. You can photocopy them and take them home. Take regular breaks while you're studying. A five minute break every half hour is usually enough. Get some fresh air and stretch your arms and legs. Drink a glass of water too. It's important to keep hydrated. And last but not least, good luck. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all do your best. Could you please tell me six things from the recording or do, would you like to listen to it again? No, I can't tell. Yeah, go on. The recording is about advice for examination. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me more. Eat good sorry fresh food for energy mm -hmm. drink mm -hmm. more water mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. take comfort place not too much comfort mm -hmm. be positive mind Don't try to learn everything. Make notes. Not too much details. Mm. Take some books in library and copy them. Every five minutes, you get break. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to play another recording and you have to write down some facts from the recording. Okay? Okay. Uh, these are some facts about human body. You will just listen to it twice. And after that, I will ask you some questions about it. Okay. Hey, I'm reading this really interesting article about the human body. Yeah? Well, we know all about that from biology lessons. No, we didn't learn much at all at school. They're discovering loads more things all the time. Really amazing things. Did you know that only about one-tenth of the cells in your body are really you? The rest are bacteria. What? I'm not really me. No, of course you are you, but you also have millions or trillions of bacteria in you. Eh? Uh... No, they're mostly really helpful. Someone did an experiment to see if animals can live without bacteria, and he found that a lot of them died or had to have a special diet. Animals need bacteria to digest food, you see, so we're better off with bacteria. Unless the bacteria are bad. Unless they are bad, but they're nearly all good. Oh, yeah. And going back to cells, do you know how many cells you have in your body? Uh, quite a lot, I'd say. A good few. Yeah, but how many? I don't know. I'm not mathematical. Seven octillion. That's seven plus twenty-seven noughts. Mm, I knew it was a lot. OK, that's an amazingly huge number, almost impossible to imagine. But the really weird thing is that most of the atoms are empty space. Just air or nothingness. And if you took out the empty space, you could fit your body inside a tiny cube which measures one five hundredth of a centimetre on either side. That's a box measuring 0.002 of a centimetre on each side. 
You'd be much too small to see. Mmm, I can imagine that. It sounds like something that would happen in a really bad Hollywood movie. You know, a mad scientist goes, I'm going to extract all the air from your body. <laughs> okay, enough facts for one day. Don't go. One last thing. Did you know... No. <laughs> Did you know that you probably have mites in your eyelashes? Mites? In my eyelashes? Uh-huh. What are mites exactly, anyway? Yeah, they're very small creatures, like insects, only not insects. They're about a third of a millimetre long, so you can't really see them. These particular mites live in eyelashes and eyebrows. But in mine? Well, maybe not. Only about 50% of people have them, and more older people, so you might not have any. Anyway, they're completely harmless. They just eat dead skin. Yeah, right, harmless. I really would have preferred not to know that. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, really? This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find others like it... Hey, I'm reading this really interesting article about the human body. Yeah? Well, we know all about that from biology lessons. No, we didn't learn much at all at school. They're discovering loads more things all the time. Really amazing things. Did you know that only about one-tenth of the cells in your body are really you? The rest are bacteria. What? I'm not really me? No, of course you are you, but you also have millions or trillions of bacteria in you. Eh? Uh... No, they're mostly really helpful. Someone did an experiment to see if animals can live without bacteria and he found that a lot of them died or had to have a special diet. Animals need bacteria to digest food, you see, so we're better off with bacteria. Unless the bacteria are bad. Unless they are bad, but they're nearly all good. Oh yeah, and going back to cells, do you know how many cells you have in your body? Uh, quite a lot, I'd say. A good few. Yeah, but how many? I don't know. I'm not mathematical. Seven octillion. That's seven plus twenty-seven noughts. Mm, I knew it was a lot. OK, that's an amazingly huge number. Almost impossible to imagine. But the really weird thing is that most of the atoms are empty space. Just air or nothingness. And if you took out the empty space, you could fit your body inside a tiny cube which measures one five hundredth of a centimetre on either side. That's a box measuring 0 0.002 of a centimetre on each side. You'd be much too small to see. Mmm, I can imagine that. It sounds like something that would happen in a really bad Hollywood movie. You know, a mad scientist goes, I'm going to extract all the air from your body. <laughs> OK, enough facts for one day. Don't go. One last thing. Did you know... No. <laughs> did you know that you probably have mites in your eyelashes? Mites? In my eyelashes? Uh-huh. What are mites exactly, anyway? Yeah, they're very small creatures, like insects, only not insects. They're about a third of a millimetre long, so you can't really see them. These particular mites live in eyelashes and eyebrows. But in mine? Well, maybe not. Only about 50% of people have them, and more older people, so you might not have any. Anyway, they're completely harmless. They just eat dead skin. Yeah, right, harmless. I really would have preferred not to know that. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, really? This recording was brought to you by the British Council. Right, now I'm going to ask you some questions about the recording. Okay. Uh, could you please tell me what mites look like? Small crotches. It's look like. And where do they live? They live in eyebrows or eyelash. What do mites eat? Right, see third millimeter? No, no, no. What what do mites eat? Eat what? 
Mites eat what? Food of mites. What do mites eat? Um, dead skin. <laughs> mites eat dead skin. Could you please tell me what is the percentage of people who have mites? Yes, 50% people have mites. How many cells are there in human body? Mm, million or trillion. Eight octillion. Okay. Thank you so much. You have passed your listening. Congratulations to you.